To install the software, go to Google Play Store, search for file test, select this, and install. Software is installing. Grant several permissions. To pair the bit with the software, start the bit. You can see the double blink switch, we call heartbeat, which indicates that the bit is now ready for connection. Go to the bit software and select self test. The software will look for devices. It will take a while and it will find the bit. Yeah. So the code is one, two, three, four. Okay. And it's connected. It's paired and you can see the self test screen. Okay. We will start by running a gyro calibration place the sensor motionless in the calibration plate press reset and just wait for one minute or until the stabilization is 100 percent Once the stabilization reached 100%, press save. And you've done gyro calibration. So, next is the inclination calibration. We first place the sensor with the north ind indicated towards south or any direction. The uh, calibration needs to be done in two directions, 180 degrees apart. The actual north is not, does not really matter. So we, in we point it to one direction, which we call south, and we press OK. It's stabilizing. We wait until it's 100%, which is very quickly. Okay, now we go here, rotate the sensor 180 degrees, and now we go back to the software and click OK. Once you're done, simply click save. Cut. The third calibration is depth calibration. To perform depth calibration, we need to put two tape marks on the cable at five meters apart. And then we need to assemble the system. First, we will place the sensor through the depth meter from left to right, always left to right. And then we will insert, insert it into the centralizer. To insert it into the centralizer, we need to take out the right screw, put it inside and put the screw back in. and tighten it with the provided Allen key, all the way. This screw will not prevent the sensor from rotating, but it will prevent it from being pulled out. So you can still rotate the sensor, but not pull it out. So this is a safety, a safety screw. The other screw, which can also be closed just by hand, will prevent the sensor from rotating. 
so now the sensor is secured. So now we have assembled the system and we can go to the borehole to perform the depth calibration. To perform depth calibration, we go to the borehole, we have all the system components installed. We switch on the depth encoder and we have some very quick blinks. Then we place the centralizer in the borehole. You can see that in this case we have a special adapter for the depth encoder which you need to create for each special scenario. Next, you place the top, the top marker on any designated point, for example here. We go to the software and we select depth calibration. Make sure the actual length is five meters. We reset and we start lowering and watch the row readings until the top marker reaches the same position. Once the second marker reached the same point, press save. And you've done depth calibration. Now, when you go to self-test, you will see an indication that the calibration is valid because you have performed the three needed calibrations. Before we start testing, we can go over some test parameters and define them. The first will be test parameters. Here we indicate the maximum distance between readings, for example, 5 meters. This depends on the curvature of the axis tubes and 5 meters is a good uh, start. The depth tolerance is the delta in which the software will tell us to stop and when we lower the sensor manually we can go to as little as five centimeters and this is the maximum allowed deviation by the project so this does not change the test but it will change the presentation next we will go to the color theme and we will select a high contrast color theme which will make the, so the software much more visible on daylight To create a new project, press the plus button and give the project a new name, for example, test. To start testing a pile, again, press the plus button. System will connect to the the software will connect to the system. You will need to move the depth meter a little bit and then press OK. You can see that the GPS location is also taken automatically with the current accuracy that depends on many satellite conditions. Using the provided compass, rotate the sensor until it points to the north. and to your designated zero depth and press OK. The software will take a first reading at zero meters. Take out the compass and start lowering to your first stop. Stop. 
stop. Stop. When you reach back to the top of the tube, use again the compass to bring the sensor back to the north and click OK. This last step is needed to compensate any additional gyro drift. Once you press save, you can see the test results. The summary indicating the maximum offset and depth, top view of the results with the di direction into which you will see a side view. A summary of all the offsets. When the green is indicated the permitted zone, we will go into that next. And a side view, which you can also rotate to see from any direction. Press the details, give this pile a name, for example, three. Any additional comments and press save. And you can see it here. You can, of course, always open it again and look at it. To test a new one, just click the plus again. The simplest way to share the project or transfer the data to your PC is through the share button. Simply click share and send the data by mail or any other way to your email recipient. To generate a report, run the bit reporter software. Select the files that you want to report. That will bring them into the reporter window and you can select specific ones. Next, select click generate report. The report is generated in Microsoft Word format and can be edited by editing the template file. Thanks for watching.